Hello again, I'm here with another update for Mysterious Space. Uh, there's been a, a lot of a lot of changes uh, really to show off, so I'll, I'll hop in it super quick. But first, I just wanted to say that uh, I didn't get a whole lot done last week because I got distracted with this crazy project that maybe I'll never work on again, but uh, I was doing some like server client stuff. I don't know. I had notions, crazy notions, uh, completely unrelated to Mysterious Space. So never mind all this. Uh, so let's hop into Mysterious Space and let me look at my little change log real quick just to remind me exactly what, you know, it, it's been everything. Let's just start a new game. Uh, Blueberry, sounds good. And we will talk about the changes as we encounter them. I've added some new types of uh, armor and shields, which, you know, just due to how drops work out, I probably won't get to. Uh, you know, get to show off, but they're in here. Um, I have changed how points are gained, so it used to be that when every time a bullet went off, uh, an enemy bullet, I should say, uh, you know, either hit a wall or went so far that it didn't, you know, ever hit you, then you would get a couple points. Uh, and I've changed that. You no longer get points for that. Uh, it made more sense when it was a forced side scroll thing. But now, with like the weird enemies that lay trails of bullets and, and they follow you around and all this other stuff, it, I mean, it would just be too easy to exploit, mainly. So, uh, I've made it so that fuel crystals, when you collect them, give you points they didn't used to. I've also placed these so we can see, I didn't shoot anything, what are these doing here? <laughs> the game now puts in some boxes just scattered around the level. Due to how the random numbers work out, they tend to be placed above ground, uh, but they can be placed below ground as well. And um, and yeah, it's it, it's just just to give you a little more reason to to explore, uh, and also put some more loot in the game. I, I just keep feeling like there isn't quite enough. You know, I, I want people to be able to experiment with all the crazy combinations of uh, weapons and everything else. So I'm hoping I've also added a completely new type of item, and I'm hoping I'll pick one up to show you you guys, but maybe not. I've also fixed a couple bugs, like there was a bug when, when loading games from previous versions, it would just crash the game, uh, now it will tell you, hey, I can't load that, and, uh, you know, <laughs> until I get to, like, version 1.0, I'm not going to worry about the fact that the saves are not backwards compatible, and honestly, even afterwards, just do the nature of the game and, and how quick it tends to be, you know, you, you play a game, you die or you win, uh, you, you can finish a game pretty quick before applying an update, so I might not ever worry about that, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try to I'll try to minimize it, you know, when it's, when it's easy to do uh, breaking of backwards uh, or volt saves, if that makes sense. Sorry, it's <laughs> talking and playing at the same time. Um, so yeah, let me, hopefully I can get to another level two. I also fixed uh, when you game over, it no longer, huh, I seem to have gone in a circle, but I don't know where my fuel is. Um, when it when it game over, it used to just take you right back to the menu, and if you're in the middle of shooting, you might accidentally select start a new game, uh, especially if you were using the controller to play. So I've given a, a proper game over screen, and, and we'll take a look at that too. Uh -huh, I didn't explore this. And this looks ow bad. Yeah, there's our little fuel crystal. Good. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh my god. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. All right. Oh, anything to? No no no. Okay. Uh, I also fixed a weird bug where if you quit the game while there were EMP bullets on the screen, then when it saved, it just failed to save, and that's a problem I had with the type of armor too, uh, previous previously, and that's because I, I'm not remembering to mark things as serializable, which means that they can be saved to a file, um, more or less. So so anyway, I, I fixed that as well. Um, yeah, let's see. All right, let's keep going here. Hopefully I will find a neat new kind of item, and, uh, okay, so I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I hear that through my speakers. I should really find a way to make it so you can hear all the computer sounds, too. Uh, but there is somewhere a horrible enemy wing. There he is. Get him. Aw, uh, his gun was a random color gun. I want a random color gun. I also fixed up a weird bug where it was possible for tunnels to be generated in such a way that they were not actually accessible, um, it, which meant that, you know, if there was a, a fuel crystal in there, you couldn't beat the level, uh, or therefore the entire game. So I fixed that up. Uh-oh. Oh, I've got myself in trouble. Okay, so let's find out if surely one of these will explode everything on the screen. I was wrong. Um, uh-oh, this might be the end of me. Oh, well, those bolts don't hurt that well if you... Oh, my God. You know what? Oh, we're just going to take it. All right. 
<laughs> Those sorts of things, I don't know whose fault it is. Like, is that the game's fault for making horrible situations, or is there a way for the player to avoid that? Uh, oh, right. I was trying to kill him with my sideways gun, but my sideways gun is an EMP thing that only slows. Goodness. All right, so this is kind of turning a little more into a let's play and less of a demoing of the features, but the features are getting increasingly hard to show off. I, I would really need to go into the game, and it's not unreasonable to do this, but go in and, and hack me to start with, you know, the appropriate things, whatever I want to show off, or skip to a certain level or something like that. You know, I can put in some debugging features too, maybe. Uh, and I've really thought about doing a Konami code, a little, you know, up, down, up, down, or up, up, down, down, left, right. I don't know. I'd have to look it up. I don't remember anymore. I'm a bad nerd. Um, to do, I don't know what. Yeah, I'd, I'd look into it, but I, th I thought it'd be fun to, to do something like that as well. Uh, and anyway, so I could hide neat debugging features in there to skip to levels or something. Who knows? Let's see if I can find that crystal. And did I ever find? No. So uh, let's just, wa I'll just ramble about it. And if we find one, we find one. And if we don't, we don't. And eventually I'll game over. Uh, and then and then we'll call this playthrough complete. I have added uh, a new type of item. It's it's pretty rare to drop, so the fact I haven't gotten one isn't unusual or anything. And it's a log that um, tells you some weird history about about the universe. You know, I, I have some vague ideas, mostly based on like singularity let's say nonsense, singularity nonsense, uh, and, and other things. Have you heard of the singularity, which some people get very excited about? Uh, I'm excited about it if it happens, if it's true, but people are notoriously bad at predicting the future, so I'm not going to hold my breath. Um, but, uh, so yeah, I mean, I've put in some, some funny logs that tell stories from different people's perspectives and kind of talk about, you know, we have this ambiguous thing in the beginning about, you know, could this be the, the power source needed for humanity survival or whatever you know what, what's that about it doesn't say and rather than just tell you partly because i haven't really figured it out yet myself i'm going to put in these funny little hints as to what's going on in the world and i'd really like to leave it up to people's imaginations honestly like i might i, I will come up with my own thing that i think is true but i will purposely make the uh the things that are revealed vague so that if people want to invent their own stories they may feel free to do so and maybe I shouldn't say that. Maybe I should just leave it 100% vague. I'm hoping I can find, you know, I've got all my fuel crystals uh, up here. But I'm hoping I can find some more item pickups. But maybe I should just advance to the next level. Because I'd like to show you what the logs look like. But anyway, let's get out of here. I was going to say, let's try to game over. I don't really want to game over, but <laughs> it'll happen eventually. Oh, and I should have equipped. Okay, I got some sort of dual blaster. Okay, let's see what these do. All right, well, one of those was to destroy everything on the screen. Something else I still have not done is I need... Whoa, God, those guys are really bad. Uh, I need some sort of messaging when... You, ah, fuck. <laughs> I need some sort of messaging when you use an artifact to tell you what it does uh, instead of just showing you. I mean, some of them are obvious, like when it blows up everything on the screen. Okay, it blew up everything off on the screen. Uh, but, like, what if it repairs your armor, but your armor was already full? which is not a problem I will have because my armor is quite depleted at this point. But, <laughs> you know, I, I need something to sort of tell you what it did in case, ow, uh, you don't know. So, man, those guys really like to shoot. I, I don't think, yeah, there wasn't anything here. All right. Yeah. Yeah, these, ow. Uh, yeah, these guys, these guys are mean. I don't like these little, uh, guys that drop mines. And you know, I, on one hand, I feel like the enemies die so quick, but on the other hand, once there's like two or three guys on the screen, it starts to get mean. Like, especially these line guys. These, I mean, they're relatively harmless, but if they cut you off in just the right way, and then you've got this guy following you, and some dude starts dropping mines or bombs on you, like, it's over. I don't know. It, it, you can get yourself in bad situations. And I, you know, I've run into a couple situations where I feel like it was my fault. I shouldn't have gone down that narrow corridor. I knew there were dudes following me, but I did it anyway. And then I got you know, then I died, and that was all my fault. So, and that's a good thing. It's it's a thing I, I keep looking out for, um, and I have to watch out for, like, confirmation bias and things. <laughs> but I really want to make sure that, you know, when you when you die, it's your fault, not the game's fault. And and that's a tricky thing to balance, uh, especially for a, an action-y sort of game like this. Um, and one thing I still have not done is there needs to be a maximum number of creatures that can be on the screen at once. Here's one. So here's a log. An unpredicted sandstorm hit today, knocking out 22 servers, housing over 160,000 people. 
Uh, the remains of eight have been found, but how many people will be recoverable is still unknown. The logs have different colors based on the the perspective they're being kept. Uh, the, the perspective of the log, I guess you could say. There's different categories. Um, I won't talk about that now. I think that's part of the discovery. Uh, but here is one of the of the log items that, that you can get. And you might already tell just by reading it that that seems a little weird, <laughs> what's being said there. And that's fine. That's wonderful. Um, so let me just go and get myself killed now. That should be pretty easy, right? Where are all the enemies? <laughs> Game over. That was easy. Uh, and then we're taken to a screen like this. Uh, the truth behind Sector ZZ Omega 9 remains a secret. Right, maybe I should say remains a mystery. Or the mystery remains a secret. I don't know. I'll play with the wording. Uh, I'd like to show other stuff on the screen besides just your final score, like, I mean, I don't know anything, how, how many of your bullets hit, or any, uh, any interesting statistics, how many little power-ups you picked up, how many artifacts you used, and, you know, any random statistics that might be interesting, uh, and especially if they would give you a metric by which you could compare yourself to, you know, to yourself in previous games and say, well, yeah, this game I, you know, I just didn't find as many as many weapons, as many items, and so I was just unlucky this game, so, you know, okay, that was unlucky, or you could look at a game and go, oh my god, I took so many more bullets, you know, per level on average or something th than I did in my previous game, no wonder I did worse, or, or, or whatever. Um, and this little message here, the truth remains a secret, that, that depends on whether or not you get to uh, sector 9. If you get to Sector 9 and on your way back you die, then it says that the secret dies with you. And I still have not added the cutscene when you beat Sector 9 to show you discovering the thing, and, and I want to add just a little, you know, a cutscene of, of you approaching it and some little funny scan animation or something. Um, animations like that are a lot of work and not really important to the gameplay itself, so I haven't focused on it. But, you know, you could say it's the same thing about this game over screen. It's not important to the gameplay itself, but it's a, it's a good touch. And, and so I'll definitely want to get the, uh, you know, the you discovering the thing. I need that cutscene at some point. Um, and sooner is probably better than later. Anyway, that concludes, I believe, my little demonstration. I do not know exactly when I will have uh, this version 0.2.2 released. Sometime this week, I'm sure. Um, yeah, I just need to work out a couple more little issues with those logs. Uh, and I'd also like to throw in a couple more, at least one more monster. Um, but we'll, we'll see what gets done. So thank you again for watching. And I will, of course, uh, keep you guys posted through the YouTube channel and post a link when, when there's a new version available to download. Yeah, thanks again. Bye-bye.